The words from the gospel songs that their parents and their grandparents sang. No drums, no keyboards, no synthesizers, no guitars. Just six voices that sing a cappella. The guys call their music contemporary Christian a cappella pop jazz. We're attempting to cover all of the elements that a band would have uh, so that when we sing, you don't miss any of those elements, rhythm, melody, harmony, etc. The human voice is, is, I think, the greatest instrument because you can make so many different types of sounds. Within one year, these voices have won two Grammys. They've played Radio City Music Hall, taped Levi Jeans commercials, recorded for Quincy Jones's next album. They did music for Spike Lee's movie. They'll soon appear on Bill Cosby's show. Now, who wants to work with them? Da, da, da. Anita Baker, Andy Williams, Whitney Houston, Gladys Knight. Enough said? They all grew up in Seventh-day Adventist homes and met at a religious college in Alabama, a college known for its quartets and choirs. In 1980, Claude assembled a quartet, but went on to invite his childhood friend, Mark Kibble. But that still wasn't enough for us. So Mervyn came into the group making it a sextet. And as soon as he came in, we knew we had struck on something, you know, pretty unique. All are musically intelligent and capable, and do their own composing and arranging. Togetherness, that's a must. We never perform without all six members there, uh, because you lose so much, there's an integral part that is missing. The recipe, equal amounts of pop and jazz with pinches of soul and R&B, but the main ingredient, gospel.